Hey y'all, hi. All right, it's happening. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, really one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, like top two, the iconic Maybelline Gone Grage, which I believe is discontinued. I haven't done a deep, deep dive into its status, but I've seen several of you in the comments saying that you haven't been able to find it anywhere. I haven't been able to link it anywhere, like it's no longer on Target or Ulta, the places that I used to link it. I'm afraid that Gone Grage is actually gone. So I've taken it upon myself to try to find a dupe for this very unusual, slightly purple leaning, but not actually lavender, grayish brown color. There isn't anything even vaguely close to a dupe for this on Temptalia. That was the first place I looked. But you know, even though Temptalia has an incredible database, she doesn't have absolutely everything on there. So I have made a search. Using part of my YouTube channel's budget for review viewing products. I purchased six lipsticks that, based on their online swatches, looked like they might be dupes for Gone Grage or somewhere in the realm of dupes for Gone Grage. I also have one lipstick in my collection that has quite a lot in common, but it isn't an exact dupe. I'm going to include that in this video. And then recently when I was visiting my friend Khaki, we were messing around with her makeup and I came across a lipstick that I thought might be a dupe for Gone Grage. So I have that with me too. All in all, I'm going to be comparing eight candidates to the original Gone Grage to see if any of them is a dupe, and if none of them is a dupe, to see which one comes the closest. If this happens to be your first time to my channel, then welcome. I'm glad you're here. My name is Hannah. I make beauty content, but I try not to promote overspending on my channel. I try to keep it grounded. I mostly do talking head content, like face to face, but every once in a while I feel like there's a video concept that would be better suited to this close-up overhead format. So if you like this kind of thing, I hope you will subscribe. And now let's go ahead and get into into the meat of this video. So I've done a little bit of swatching on my own. I haven't really done a comprehensive swatch party. I mean, that's what I'm here to do on camera today. And I've taken lip swatch footage of all of these lipsticks. So I'll be showing you the swatches close up right here, but I'll also be inserting B-roll footage of myself trying all these lipsticks on my lips to give you even more information about how each one might look. And I'll tell you, based on the lip swatches, some of them are way off base. Like I can't believe that the online swatches, the online imagery of some of these lipsticks led me to believe that they might be close in color to Gone Grage. It really just goes to show how inaccurate online listings of makeup can be. But some of them have come pretty close, and I'm really curious to see what it'll look like when they're all swatched out. So let's start with a good, juicy swatch of Gone Grage right here at the top. There it is. The gorgeous, the elusive, the goat. This is obviously a bullet lipstick formula. It's also a matte formula. And I am not just interested in duping the color. I am interested in duping the lipstick. So almost all the lipsticks that I have here are also bullet lipsticks. They actually, they are all bullet lipsticks. Almost all of them are also matte formulas because I'm looking for something that could actually be like a full-on stand-in for Gone Grage. The original is the Maybelline Bold formula. I think it's like Maybelline Bold Matte. That was the category of Maybelline lipstick into which this fell. All right, first up. This was a subscriber suggestion, actually. There are a couple of lipsticks here that are on my radar as possible dupes for Gone Grage because one or more of you has, over the years, put it in the comments, said, hey, you might want to check out XYZ lipstick. It looks like it could be a dupe for Gone Grage. This is Juvia's Place Muted. And actually, based on the online imagery of this lipstick, I didn't think that it would be close. Like it wasn't one that I maybe would have picked on my own, but because I think just one of you one time left a comment saying that it might be, I went for it. And when I opened it, I was feeling much more optimistic than I was when I saw the swatches online. I can totally see why someone thought that this might be a dupe for Gone Grage. They don't look exactly the same in the bullet. You can kind of start to see the differences. Muted is looking a little bit more cinnamony. It's like it doesn't have that purple in it. That's the thing about Gone Grage. Got a little purple in it. It. Let's see how the swatch looks. I must say the formula is wonderful. It's matte looking, but it's nice and slidey, very much like the Maybelline formula of which I'm a big fan. Feels nourishing, easy to wear. I love the shape of the bullet, this chiseled shape that makes it really easy to control the line you're getting. There's a lot to love about this lipstick. However, <laughs> it isn't a, a dupe, you know, an exact dupe. It just isn't. 
The undertones are clearly different. It's close, but it is warmer. And on somebody like me, I have olive undertones and very pale, desaturated skin. Lipsticks tend to go more orange on me than they are. So for me, one of the really great things about Gongrage is it has that kind of purple undertone instead of having a warm brown undertone that keeps it ever from going orange. It's like this truly grungy neutral on me, whereas this just is never going to look quite as grungy because it's always going to have that orange undertone enhanced by the contrast with the green in my skin. A nice try though, you know, like a really, really good try. Up next, we have the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Moonwalk. This is one that I picked myself from Ulta. I think I might have searched grayish, like grayish lipstick or just searched gray lipstick or something and this came up and I thought, aha, based on the imagery, the swatch online, it really looked like it might be a dupe for Gone Grayish. This is one of the ones I had the highest hopes for. It's also a matte lipstick, but already examining the bullets together, you can see that this is the opposite problem from Muted, from Juvia's Place. There's more purple in Moonwalk, and it's also a bit darker. Next to it, Gone Grage looks positively orange, which, you know, it never looks orange. By contrast, it looks like a warm brown. So you can already tell it's not going to be a perfect dupe, but let's see how the swatch looks. It's so interesting. I feel like it's just as close as Muted, but in the other direction. Like, it's too purple, whereas Muted is too orange orange. They're both really trying to be gone grayish, but neither one of them is quite cutting the mustard. This is a nice formula as well. It's stiffer than either of these two. These both feel a little bit slippier than this one, but that makes it feel like it's going to be quite tenacious. Applying it, I had a little bit of a hard time getting a really even application. And of course, because of the depth and the purple in it, it looked pretty vampy on me. But I could see it serving a similar purpose to gone grayish for some people, especially if you have deeper skin than me, you have different undertones than I have. I could see a world in which Moonwalk from NYX is your gone grayish. And because of that purple, and because I feel like the purplish undertone is like the distinctive quality of gone grayish, weirdly, I feel like this is actually a little bit closer in spirit to gone grayish even than Juvia's Place Muted. Next up, we have a lipstick from the brand Minted, which I've never tried. And I feel like you can actually even see based on the little color of the sticker why I thought this might be a dupe for Gone Grey. It's just based on the color of the lipstick and the listing, the pictures. It looks like it might be a little bit darker, but it really, really looks like it's in the same family. However, <laughs> when you see the actual bullet, you can see it has a lot of qualities that Gone Grey doesn't have. It's like a red, actually, like a reddish brown, really not angling at the same thing at all. As soon as I saw the bullet of this one, my hopes were dashed. Let's see how it looks in the swatch. It's a pretty lipstick. It's a pretty brown. Brown. It's more translucent than any of the three I've swatched so far. One of the interesting qualities of Gone Grey is it's kind of got this milkiness, and so do both of these, like a real cream opacity. This one's a little bit more translucency, which I think probably makes it really wearable, but it also takes it further from home base. I like that it's not too warm of a brown. It's, it's like a brown that leans a little more raisin rather than leaning traditionally cool or traditionally warm. Really pretty, just not a dupe. Next up, this is the one that I found when I was swatching around at Khaki's house. It is a Ritual Defi lipstick and the shade name is Prey. Just look at this. Doesn't that look pretty promising? I didn't have Gone Grage with me there and Khaki doesn't own it, so I wasn't able to immediately compare it. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, wait a second, this is like a grungy grayish lavender. This could be the dupe I've been looking for. And from Ritual Defeat, which is like this great, really cool indie brand, wouldn't that be a coup if this turned out to be the dupe for Gone Grayish? Well, as soon as I saw them side by side, I realized that it wasn't going to be an exact dupe. It's just a little bit more lavender, a little bit more pink, you know? Still quite grungy, especially on me, again, because of my desaturated olive undertone. I think it still has the potential to be really grungy lipstick on a lot of people, and the potential to maybe be more wearable than Gone Grage on a lot of people, but to sort of do the same thing. It isn't an exact color dupe, but it's very much in the spirit. Let's look at the swatch. So actually, swatched out on my arm, it looks, kind of looks more different from Gone Grage than I was expecting it to. When I did the lip swatches, when I 
had this on, I felt like I looked the most like I was wearing Gong Grage than I did when I was wearing any of the other lipsticks. I was like, wow, this is, it's pinker, but it's pretty close. Here on my arm though, you can really see the differences. It's almost like at its darkest, like the little spots on my arm where the swatch is at its darkest, where it's the most built up, starts to approach Gong Grage at its lightest. Or maybe the way that Gong Grage would look blotted down because blotting down this lipstick and letting my natural lip color come through kind of gives me something like this. Maybe that's why I sort of feel like they're closer dupes than I think that they actually look like on my arm because I often wear lipsticks blotted. So usually the effect of Gone Grage on me is like this color mixed with the relatively deep mauve of my lips. This also is heavily scented with lavender. There's lavender oil in it, as there is in, I think, everything that Ritual Diffuse makes. It's just good to know. Other than that, really creamy, pigmented, easy to manipulate, and nourishing bullet lipstick formula. It's a good one. And a likely candidate, I think, if you really want something kind of like Gone Grage, even though it's not an exact perfect dupe, it might be, depending on your coloring, depending on what you want from Gone Grage, it might be the thing that's going to get you the closest. Okay, this was another subscriber recommendation. One of you in a comment one day suggested the Peripera Ink Intense Stick in the shade 10, which is called Day Taupe. This is another one I didn't have the highest hopes for based on the pictures. I just got it because one of you said to give it a try. But then when I saw the bullet, I was like, oh, maybe it would be closer than I think. And yeah, they're kind of in the same realm. I mean, Gong Grage is definitely grungier. Grungier and more brown, more cool toned. It's almost like this Peripera lipstick is like Gong Grage for the faint of heart. Let's look at the swatch. Oh yeah, swatched out, it just looks like a mauve. I don't even know how they're getting away with calling this taupe. It's really different from Gone Grage. Sort of shows you how grungy Ritual Defeat Prey is because they're kind of similar. Ritual Defeat Prey almost looks like you took this lipstick and you mixed it with a little bit of Gone Grage, you know? However, I really like the formula of this. It's very soft, blendable, velvety. It was the one of all the lipsticks that I swatched that it was the easiest to get that soft, buffed, blurred lip line that I love. And unfortunately, from here, we go off the rails a little bit because the last two lipsticks that I purchased with my budget for review are these two Revlon lipsticks. Both of these lipsticks are in the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Formula. This one is the shade Untold Stories, and this one's the shade Shameless. Based on the swatches, like the little dots of color online, I didn't think they looked like they would be dupes, but the lip swatches, the way that each of these looked on the models, like when I Googled the colors and when I looked at the swatches in the listings on Ulta, they really looked grungy. Like they really, really did. And so I decided to give both of them a try, only to be... <laughs> totally disappointed because they're both just pink, right? They're just two shades of pink. And I mean, I think I could sort of see an argument for Untold Stories having a little bit of gray in it, or just being a little, a little bit muted, a little bit desaturated. Both of them actually have a quality of desaturation in a vacuum. You know what I mean? I think if they weren't on my skin tone, if it's just like you're just looking at them, I could see the argument. And maybe they just do go kind of muted, a little bit grayish even on other people. But on me, they're just pink. And compared to Gone Grayish, I mean, come on, nowhere near. Nowhere near the Gone Grage Empire. But I'll swatch them anyway. There's Untold Stories. Sad. It's just peach. And there's Shameless. It looks almost like a really matte version of Rum Raisin, one of the other Revlon lipsticks that I had for a while and of which I was quite fond. But they really have nothing to recommend them in this context. The formula is fine. The formula is lovely, actually. Very matte looking, but not bad feeling. But other than that, color wise, nothing to recommend them. So these are all the hopefuls that I kind of gathered together just for this video. And after I had lip swatched them all, I thought, you know, I don't know if any of them is as close to Gone Grage as Gucci, A Royal Scandal, which I know isn't a dupe, but I went and got it anyway. This may be my favorite lipstick of all time. I actually feel like Gone Grage and A Royal Scandal are my two favorites, like the best of the best. And right away, you can see why. There have been times in my life when I thought, oh, maybe this is the dupe, right? It's 
really, really kind of closer than anything that we've seen, especially when you're not comparing it directly to Gotten Grage. When you compare it directly, you see the problem. It doesn't have purple in it. It's like a royal scandal. I feel like there's a maybe not hefty, but like a, a significant number of lipsticks on the market. Like a, there's a little corner in which there are gathered these lipsticks that have this grungy, almost greenish brown quality. I don't know if I've come across really, really strong dupes for a royal scandal, but some of my cool toned browns have come close. But for there to be a color that is like this and then just has a drop of purple, that's Gone Grage, and I just feel like it's the only one. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right next to the Gone Grage swatch at the top, though, so you can really see the differences. You can kind of see how close it comes. So one of the biggest differences, and you'll really see this in the lip swatch between Gone Grage and A Royal Scandal, is that A Royal Scandal is a Gucci satin. It's not matte. It's really, really emollient on the lips, and that makes it wear differently. But the colors are also different. You can see it up close there. Gone Grage has a drop maybe of mauve, maybe of purple, maybe of like a pinkish purple, a lavender. A Royal Scandal is like Gone Grage without the purple. So I've been highly aware because I've been thinking about the uniqueness of this lipstick for a long time. I've been highly aware of those subtle but to me significant differences between these two colors, but with all of these hopefuls swatched out, I feel like it's definitely the closest. I mean, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I really feel like it is the closest dupe, all things being equal. I do think that there's some really good options here for you if your undertone is slightly different from mine or your skin tone is different. Hopefully you'll be able to sort of reverse engineer and figure out that maybe Ritual Defi Prey would be your Gone Grage. Nyx Moonwalk might be your Gone Grage. Mented might actually even be your Gone Grage. I feel like the best candidates though are the ones that do have that purple in them. But at this stage, at least in this round of trying to dupe this, color, I think that the best chance that I'll have at replicating it in the future will be to mix Ritual Defeat Prey with a Royal Scandal. I'm going to do that in the back of my hand and see how close I can get. So there's Gone Grage in all of its glory. There's a Royal Scandal. And actually, I feel like those big swatches and without the distraction of the other ones, you can see the differences even more clearly. Wow. It kind of worked. I feel like I might even have gone a little bit overboard with Prey because now Gone Grage is looking like it's the one that's a little bit less mauve. I'm gonna add in a tiny bit of a royal scandal. Oh my gosh, it worked. It worked like a charm. I feel like at this stage, the biggest difference is finish. Ended up with a more emollient lipstick on this side, the mixture that I created. But wow, I feel like for now, I mean, I will probably continue to pursue this avenue, like especially if I see something that looks like it really could be. I mean, you let me know if you think there's a true dupe for Gone Grage out there that I haven't tested. But at this stage, I feel like this is the best that we can do. Like, and that's, a, that's pretty special spot on for just only having had to mix two existing lipsticks, not having to like get out my palette and depotting tool and the Salt New York mixing colors and like make a true custom color, but just mixing two lipsticks that I already had. That's pretty close. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, I hadn't had this idea when I was doing the lip swatches. So I don't know how dramatically different like it would look on my lips. Maybe that gives you a little bit of an idea. Yeah, at this stage of mixture, the mixture, which is the one on my ring finger here. My pointer finger is gone grayish. The mixture is looking a little bit on the pinker side, but you know, that's easy to fix. If I were wearing it on my lips, I'd probably just tinker with it until I felt it was the exact mixture that I wanted, the exact balance of tones that I wanted. Okay, and those swatches there, you can see that I've gone too pink in the mixture. It needs a little bit more a royal scandal mixed in. But again, I just, I feel confident that I could get there. Like I know that between those two, I could get there by tinkering. Well, this was really fun. An indulgent, but I think really interesting way to spend some of my channel's budget for reviewing products. I just want to end the video by saying that I'm not usually super hyper-focused like I have been in this video on finding an exact dupe for a color. I often feel like the spirit of the thing, the vibes of the color, that's what really matters. And in many cases, if 
if you get yourself quite close, there really isn't a difference like between the experience of wearing whatever your favorite red, like what you thought your perfect red was, and if it's been discontinued, the next best thing that you might find. I feel like makeup products come and go. They're around for a while and then they're discontinued. And I think that being hyper-focused on needing, like needing to own the exact color, the exact one, buying a bunch of backups, buying like expired makeup and using it. I feel like that can get to an unhealthy place in beauty and it can kind of aggravate the propensity to overspend the fantasy that there is such a thing as like the perfect lipstick. So I usually don't do this. I do really love Gone Grage. If I get to the point where I feel like it's so expired that I don't want to use it anymore and I can't find a dupe, I'll be fine. <laughs> Both because I have lipsticks that are not the same, but definitely do the same thing, you know, but also because it'll be okay if I had a phase of my life where I was able to wear this color on my lips, and then I enter a phase of my life where I'm not. That's actually okay. I decided to do this not because I would be lost without Gone Grage or a dupe for it, but because I feel like it's such an interesting case study. I think that it's rare to have a color in makeup where you really can't find something even close enough that it's almost indistinguishable. You know, there are so many actual color dupes across brands and across formulas, and it has kind of fascinated me and gotten in amongst me that nobody seems to know of a dupe for Gone Grage, even though it does, it's not that complicated, you know? It's like a cool-toned brownish grage with a drop of purple. It just seems like someone else would have thought of it, but so far, as far as I've been able to tell, no one else has. So I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me, and I hope that you were able to take my point there at the end about it not being about an obsessive need to always have a certain really specific color, but just more about a little bit of entertaining kind of makeup and investigative journalism, I saw a little window to make kind of a unique video and I just took it. Thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, again, if you aren't subscribed, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe if you think you'd like to come back and watch more of my videos. I really hope that you are remembering to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.